This is it. Yep, and this is the moment they've been waiting for. So, call it right now. Chat, if Skimbo's going to win, put your ones up. If you think Jay Wall's going to get it done, put your twos up. Can I get a prediction from you? I'm going with Skimbo. I'm going Jay Wall. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to find out. Rock solid. Although I really like Skimbo. He's a great guy. We got a chance to chat with him downstairs. And he's just an all-around really, really good dude. Oh, so we're going to see this game. I'll be really interested to see both of their first drives on offense. They both want to establish themselves, and they want to get that seven. Is Jay Wall going to press? Is he going to try to do too much? Or is he going to let the game come to him and make his reads and progressions as normal? What kind of pressure do you think Jay Wall is feeling right now going into this, playing the best of the best? It's an interesting, just because Jay Wall seems like the type that might not even know he's supposed to feel pressure. He might not even know that this is the moment's too big for him. He's just playing the game that he always plays, and he happens to be really good at it, and he just gets a shot yeah. at playing the best. Now, let's talk about the clock because Skimbo's done this. What does Jay Wall need to do to manage that? He just needs to keep up with Skimbo. Match him. He scores, you score. God forbid he gets a stop, you get a stop. You yep. cannot let that game get away from you because we saw it got away from T-Ski, and he fought back as much as he could, yep. but he still came up short. All right, here we go. Starting off, he definitely wants to make sure he gets some points. <laughs> you don't want to allow Skimbo to get a stop on that nope. first drive. Now they're both playing with Vic as well. Yes. And what a way to start out. The question is, will he go? How long will he go before he throws an incomplete pass against Skimbo? He was 15 for 15 in his last game. Will Skimbo be able to slow that down? Yep. I'm not sure. What's uh, the chat saying? Are we getting mostly Skimbo? Are we getting Jay Wall for the outcome of this game? Oh, they definitely are going with Skimbo. But they're letting everybody, everybody know they want to see a great game, though. And there are a couple of people that think that Jay Wall can shock the world. The, me. Yeah. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> <It's you. laughs> I just got to go opposite whatever you go. And for, uh-oh, another great route. And, you know, that's really interesting. For a while, my Rico's Rock Solid pick was almost like a curse. And everybody I picked was losing. Yep. So people would go opposite just <laughs> because. So now we'll see if that still holds true. If Jay Wall gets points on the board first what does that do to skimbo nothing nothing skimbo knows it's going to be a game of scores eventually people are going to score he's just going to know he has to match that and keep up with him i'm shocked skimbo isn't sending more pressure and making the youngster have to make decisions he's, and then oh, there it goes that sack. yep yep i was gonna say i'm shocked that skimbo was showing him that mm -hmm. much respect to allow him to go through it you know, there was such of a difference, and I, I talked about it before, but the pace of the game from the first game to the second game, where do you think we'll find ourselves here? It's going to be a quick-moving game. It's going to be a lot of throwing, a lot of passing. Oh, yeah, these guys both like Running. to pass the ball. And he's still throwing perfect. We're going to see if he can get through this first quarter. Now... When you get here in the red zone, it's actually tougher to score just because you don't have the deep threat available and your routes and options, your space is limited. Yep. So right now, Skimbo can hold him to three. Oh, no. Ooh, just missed that. Great job of getting down with Vic. You can see that, that while Jay Wall is young, he still knows you do not want to allow your quarterback to take hits like that. This is where the bend don't break comes in. Eagle, eagle. You can give up three here, but you don't want to give up seven. He has plenty of time though. Oh, right there. And there's your incomplete pass. <laughs> that came much earlier than this than his first game. Yes. I think this we got the, we got it in the third in the second game. Oh, and he still was there. Oh, good oh. spin. 
You still got to get in. Yep. He this knows it, too. And Skimbo knows he just needs to play D for one more down. If you're J Wall, I think you got to take those three points just to get on the board. You don't want to have your first drive come out with yeah. nothing. If he doesn't get in the end zone here. Orange, orange. And it's the black two man. Let's go, D. Tighten up. Wait, wait, wait. Now you definitely snap. take that makes your three a lot Absolutely. easier to take. Absolutely. That's a decision made for you right there. How big was that for Skimbo? Uh, great, because he definitely wants to start off with that type of momentum, and he lets him know when you're the favorite in the game, you want to make sure you don't give the underdog any kind of feeling like they're supposed to win, like they're supposed to be in this game. You want them to always know that you're the, supposed to be the better player. Yep. By him getting that half a stop early and holding him to three in that situation, it just reinforces, hey, I'm the best in the game right yep. now. Yep, it reiterates that. What a run. And Skimbo says, always says, if you give him four kicks, he'll take one to the house. We've seen him do it time after time. <laughs> do you think he'll go with his uh, game plan and throw all day here? You're never going to get Skimbo to switch it up. We, <laughs> we've asked him about running the ball, and he's like, that's not him. That's not who he is. That's not what got him there. He'll run if he has to. But he always wants to pass. You think that last minute switch up for Vic is paying off? As apparently it is. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's what I've been trying to say the whole time. That's how you use Vic. As soon as you see that, you're going to have to come out and spot. J Wall's going to have to figure out something, or else Skimbo's going to take that all day long. And as soon as you take that extra man and you bring him in or yep. you spot him, that's what opens up the other passing lanes. And he knows that. Knows it, loves it, practices, labs it. Now he's executing it. So right now, you got to be a little deflated if you're J-Wall hey, watching the ease in which Skimbo just moved up the field. It did feel very easy for him. But remember, you can still hold him to three here. Putting the pressure on. Skimbo makes sure he doesn't take any extra hits. He doesn't take any fumbles. <laughs> he is not trying to turn this ball over at all. He doesn't mind coming back with another down. Guess, guess. Lion, lion, lion. 300, 300. Wait, wait, wait. Drop him back. That was a great pass. He found him in traffic. Low ball to just so he could get that. Third and inches. Now this is where Skimbo has a decision to make. What do you do in this situation? If I'm Skimbo? Yep. Uh, probably I'd go for it just because you already got the half a stop. And so even if you don't get it here, he has to go the entire field. And you have a chance to stop him. And if you hold him to three, you're still only down six yeah. nothing. So there's no downside in not going for this. And he's in. And he made it real easy. Skimbo up on the board. And it's interesting. I take a look at the chat. Drini said he was supposed to take three. Shout out to Drini again, one of the top players, part of the youth yep. movement. Runner up last year to Young Kiv. You got to go for it, Drini. You got to go for it. All right, now seven to three. This is the most important drive for Jay Wall right here because he can't allow Skimbo to get another stop or a half stop and go down like that because Skimbo's too smart of a player, too cerebral of a player to allow that to happen to him. Yep. You saw even when T Ski made the comeback, Skimbo always tried to have he always had control of that game. He was always able to maintain his lead. You don't want to play from behind when you're facing a player like that. Uh-oh. 
And that pocket is collapsing quick. Yep. Do you think those nerves are starting to kick in for Jay Wall here? No, I know the blitzes are starting to kick in for Skippo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he needs to start moving forward. You can't continue to go yep. back. Second and 15 needs to be third and six. He needs to keep this game on his side if he wants to move forward. Oof. Wow. He's throwing a couple of incompletes. This is a different, this is definitely a different ball game than we saw last time. Do you see Skimbo smiling? Yeah, he He's is He's enjoying happy. this because he knows, hey, I got this. This is the first time I think I've seen Skimbo. Or he, I haven't seen him smile at all until this moment. He's locked in his game mode. And because of the way that Jay Wall's playing, because of the way the game's going, he feels comfortable right now. Oh, wow. Oh. That was tough. He just missed him. And you see Skimbo knows. He's like, he got away with one. He's <laughs> mm -hmm. Skimbo wants to say something. Yep. But he's like, nope, you know what? I just got to play. Biting his he, tongue. Yeah, he called the right defense. He just didn't make that play. I know, Jay uh, Wall is still going with, it, with his Drake in his headphones at this point. Fourth and inches. Can he get the stop? I don't know that I go six yards in the backfield for inches. That's tough. Can Skimbo get this stop? Look at Skimbo just laughing over there. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Uh -huh. And he knows, Skimbo's good enough to know when he's made the right play, when he's made a good play, or when he's gotten lucky. And he knows that he was right there, that could have went either way, and he got away from him that time. But you got to feel good with all your calls so far. That was a great play by Jay Wall. Getting down there. He's made the most of his second opportunity. He got that first down, and he's not looking back. He needs to get in the end zone here, and he needs seven. First and ten. Skimbo with the lead. Oh, he fought through it. Oh, look at him smile. He knows yeah. he, he broke a couple tackles he there. Sure He'll did. take it. And that's and that's one of the things you gotta love with the game. Sometimes you're upset because that guy is running over you and you're like, how could this happen? And then sometimes you're like, hey, my guy ran yeah. over you. I'm so glad this happened. And it's interesting to see because Skimbo's demeanor, his face, hey, 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 all of that has changed at this point. His smiles have gone down a little bit just because oh great cutback. That was a great cutback by Jay Wall right there. Nice stick work. Nice 24. He's left snub. Orange, orange. Alpha, alpha. Orange, orange. Oh, wow. Oh. He thought he had picked up that entire blitz. He did it for a quick second, but. As soon as he shed that block and he tried to get out there, all oh, back. Snap right in. Yep. So second and 15, the ball's in the 27. I feel like this is deja vu to the exact situation last time. He needs to get seven, but you don't want to see him put in a position where he has to take three. He needs to be smart about these next couple of plays. Yeah, he needs to get, get a couple more points on the board right now. And once again, it's that flat that's easy. We go into the flat. Anytime he needs a play, he goes to that flat. That's his first read. But it only got him four yards. So I'm not sure how much that's going to help right now. He's always counting on himself making that first player miss. Never. If he doesn't make that first guy miss, that's always going to be a short game. We're back at that scenario, the third and 11 that we saw in uh, game one. Wait, 20! If he only gets three here, does that deflate him moving forward? Yes, because he's still losing. And then good he's first good. down. Yep. And then the fact is, the next time, let's say Skimbo scores a touchdown, you're down eight down. Yep. And that puts an, another level, the another pressure. added level of pressure on you. 
J-Wall fighting for the Patriots Club Championship. It's his first time doing it. Skimbo, he's done it. He's won the entire thing back in 2017. He knows what he's doing here. Oh, yeah, he's now a savvy veteran. But don't worry, J-Wall's going to get there. He's going to keep practicing, playing, practicing, and playing. He's 17 years old which is amazing 17 a senior in high school he plays basketball he says he's a shooting guard on his team they're starting to look at colleges so i mean he's young yep but his game is that of a seasoned veteran yep Now it'll be interesting to see with him on the 10 yard line how he manages the play calls. Right but he in. doesn't have to manage them right when that in. parks like the Red Sea and you just run right in. You could tell he wants to smile, so he's like holding it in. But he wants to. And now with that 10 to 7 lead, he's right back in this game. He puts that pressure back on Skimbo because Skimbo needs to score. He's had quite the day. There's been a lot of high-pressure situations for Skimbo all day long. Yep, and you never know it. This is where, if you're J-Wall, you might want to be a little aggressive. You might want to be... take a few more chances just because if you can get this stop here and score... That changes the whole complexion of this game. Were there moments in his first game that you saw the, the that risk taker in him, though? No. But when you get in these finals, it does a strange thing to you. Yep. <laughs> they really enjoy running it today. Yes. And the fact that he's able to get that and move the chains, not move the chains, but able to get those type of yards and continue to move the chains with Vic, is going to make this a tougher day for J. Wall. It's going to make his offense tougher to stop. J. Wall's going to need to pick a pick one. Either we're going to contain Vic, we're going to contain the run, or we're going to take away his deep ball. But he has to come up with something because he's just allowing Skimbo to march down the field. Good tackle. Third and four. J Wall with the lead. And it's the black two man. We got this up. Sick guy. Check this guy. So, so, so. Motion, motion. Wait, wait, wait. And he finds right that. up that seam. Great look, great read. Jaywell's gonna, you can't make it that easy. That pass was right in front of Skimbo right there for the completion. For Jaywell to secure this win, what does he need to do moving forward? He needs to get a stop here. There's 50 hey, seconds go. left. So, so, so. And he needs to hold, he needs to get this stop, and then he needs to score in his next possession. Wait, wait, wait. He was looking to make that move, but he didn't go yep. for it. What all? Great wrap up, great defense hey, by Jay Wall. So, so. So, so, so. Didn't really gain much there. Third and seven. What are you doing here? Third and seven. You. 30 seconds left on the clock. It all comes down to, do you think you have a nine-yard play? And then are you, how risky are you going to be trying to score? If not, I run the ball, take the timeout, and then kick it. And there's a reason why I'm sitting yeah. here and sitting there. Because yeah. <laughs> now he's taking his last timeout. But there's only 23 seconds left, so I'm not sure how many more plays you're going to be able to run and feel comfortable. And you don't want to find that wind up forcing something turning the ball over and not getting any points. It'd be nice, though, to go into the half with the lead. Shift the momentum for him a little bit. Give him some confidence going in, for sure. Uh oh it's going to be close. Mm. Eight, seven, six, five, 
for uh, final play. Oh, oh, that one second yeah. that everybody can, out there knows that is the longest second of Madden. And you could see it in Jay Wall's face, his reaction to that. He knows it. That one second at the end of the half and end of the game is so long. Yeah, you don't want to so, give that to Skimbo. Yep. So now the question is, is that going to come back and haunt him? This game is tied up at the half. It has been everything we wanted and a little. Skimbo's disappointed in himself that he didn't get into the end zone. But he was able to tie that game up. You asked Jay Wall. You're playing against Skimbo for the Patriots Club Championship. He's it's tied at the half. He's walking away with money anyways. Both of them are. But we find ourselves in the same situation that uh, Skimbo was in in game one. Going into the half tied, but really both back at zero. It's a brand new game. And he gets the ball first. It's going to be about, this might come down to who gets the ball last. Shout out to Sirius Mo out there. Lima, Ohio's finest. Hey. And once again. Finds that pocket. And he gets down to make sure his Vic doesn't take any hits that he doesn't need to. He's not going to put the ball on the floor that way. You know, that choice to put Vic in is really, especially in this game, paying off for him. Yeah, you can definitely see why he made the switch to Vic. And you can see that he's labbed up really well with the rest of the needed gaming guys. And he's making sure that he's not taking unnecessary hits. Now he's starting to get in his offense. He's yeah. starting to click. You could see he seems focused no, no, no. right to the Eagle, point. Eagle. Jay Wall's going to have to make a decision whether he's going to spy, send pressure, or just sit back and play coverage and live with oh. everything. Dead clock, just ticking. Mm. Oh, great run to the outside. Oh, so what happened there? Jay Wall was waiting for him to come back. He thought he was going to spin. He wanted to make the thing. If Skimbo would have just been able to turn it up, he could have still been running. Oh, that was a great cat and mouse game right there. It's interesting, though, because they're starting to learn each other's games as this is going on. good wrap up so now again this is where it gets tougher when you're down here in this red zone when you can't go deep when they can play every defense they want <laughs> didn't gain much there yep j walls going with that bend don't break and now he's locking in the old patriots way yep. and then holding the three <laughs> All right, third and 14. Tie game, three minutes and 16 seconds left in the third. Nothing. Ooh, I know if Skimbo could have that one back, he'd want it. You could see, see it, it, yep. Yep, he knows he had one there. He knows that that could be the game, uh, the, the play. Yep, that may there's have a big difference. The game. Yeah, there's a big difference between getting seven and three here. Yeah. And now. Again, now that he got three, if you're Jay Wall, you got to feel great that you were able to hold the three, even though we had several opportunities. Yep. Now you go back on the other side and rally. <laughs> Jay Wall really loves utilizing that spin move. Yeah, it's definitely really effective in this game. And then, especially even off of interceptions or anything like that, that's how people are writing themselves. This spin move is the most effective out of all of them. Well, going into this game, did you think that it was going to be this close, though? I knew it would be a good game. Styles make fights. Ooh! But I didn't know it would be this evenly matched. It doesn't seem like Jay Wall is giving up an inch to Skimbo. He's right there. He's playing. He's locked in. He makes a move. So does he. Double, double, double. And he 
comes in. Another big hit. Yep. Got to make sure you hold on to that ball. You don't want to wind up giving up a turnover. And that's There's what he that was trying to avoid. Yeah. He was trying to set him up by using the sideline and coming back. Yeah. Didn't fall for it. Just needing the two minute warning in the third. Skimbo stretching it out a little bit over there. Yeah. He's just trying to make sure he's ready to go. He's locked in now. You got to be smart here. You don't want to force anything. DJ Love just play your game. And he was a little too conservative there. He yeah. might have been able to bounce that to the outside or he had the run to the right. You think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive in order to beat him? Yes and no. You don't want to be aggressive to the point where you're reckless, but you want to make sure you make the most of every opportunity that you have here. When you're playing against Skimbo, you can't leave anything on the table. Smart move there, getting rid of the ball. Wanted to make sure he didn't take that sack. Didn't want to get sent back even further. They need to get some points on this series. Yeah, he definitely needs to get the points in the try, but he needs to get his first down first. You don't want to wind up giving the ball back to Skimbo. And he's got it. That he did. He moves the chains, gets another first down. And he looks calm. He looks like it's not. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if he understands how big the stage is, how bright the spot is. I mean, this is a big moment for him. It really is. He, it, in At this 17, moment, if I was here in Gillette Stadium yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get into a tournament for a share of $700,000, I can't even imagine it. He had to have somebody sign his disclosure. Like, he had a parent come in to sign him into this league. Like, this is a big, big moment for him. Wow. And that was just really, really bad pocket presence. Yeah, he knows you it. You got to get out of there. You can't take that sack there. You can't allow that to happen. All right, second and 16. Back to back. Wow. How big is that for Skimbo? It's huge. So now what happens is you're forced to make a decision. Do you try to get all this at once? Do you try to pick it up in two? Or are you willing to take a field goal? You have so many things going through your mind right now, especially with the youngster. And you still got to make a play call. You still got to determine what you want to do. This is it. Fourth quarter. Put your fours up. Paper. Eagle, eagle. All right, here we go. Third and 21. It's going to be really interesting to see if he goes conservative on this or he lets it all go. Oh, wow. Interesting call. Well, you could see Skimbo's. He was ready for that. Yeah. He was waiting. And he's probably wondering, like, what's going on? But, hey. And, wow. That was a very, very interesting play call. Like, that's the part we're going to have to ask him in the interview. Why did he run that ball on third and 21? We're starting to get a little bit of reaction from their faces as they sit there as well. Yeah, because they know it's getting down to crunch yeah, time, that fourth quarter. It. And it's still game. The, the chat is even saying that they don't understand that call, but his coffin corner punt is phenomenal. 
and his defense wasn't too bad there either. He was waiting for him. Skimbo threw that in that perfect window. If he'd have waited a half a second longer, that would have been a pick. Hey, let's go! Stop, stop, stop! Strong right, strong right, strong right! Wait, wait, wait! Great read. All right, now here's where you can get a little exotic in your play call in third and inches. Is he going to take a shot, or is he going to just try to pick up the first down? Knowing Skimbo's game, where do you think he goes with this? He, he definitely wants – he's going to probably get the first down. He's exotic. He, he definitely wants to end this game if he can. He wants to go up by two scores, but he's smart. So he's just going to get the first down and keep this drive alive. Great call. This is it. The winner is crowned the Patriots Club champion. This is the place that Skimbo was last year. Hey, let's go. Hoping to do it oh, once oh, again. Oh. And he's on his way. So, if he, if the, the winner of this gets this done, not only do they get to experience this wonderful Patriots Club Championship with Gillette, they're going to go play with the other 32 winners in Redwood City at the brand new studio. It's going to be it's going to be beautiful. And, and did we mention the seven hundred thousand dollars that they could be walking away with? Oh wow, that's that's a great sack for Jay Wall. Shocked that Skimbo's really disappointed himself that he got that close. And outside of that $700,000, the bragging rights that come along with this. I mean, there's a whole community that to win that is huge. Huge is an understatement. Eagle, Eagle. Mm. And he's sacked. He's starting to get in the. He's starting to get in the. Uh, in the zone now. Now he's going to have to make some tough decisions. Third and 27. You don't want to do too much here. But no one's Kimbo. He has a 28-yard play. And he's sacked. You got to get that one off there. You can't take that. And right now, the youngster's feeling good. What, what is going through his mind right now? With Skimbo and the youngster. Oh, Jay Wall. He's like, this is it. This is my time. I got a shot. I'm here for a reason. Let's go. He's, he's giving himself the greatest pep talk right now. <laughs> yep. He's giving himself the big game speech. He is, he's singing over there. He's got something going on in those headphones. All right. This is it. Ooh. And now he's only down three. So the game is completely in his hands. He, he, he just needs to manage the clock. Make this the last possession of the game and don't turn the ball over. What does he need to do to manage the clock, though, in this moment? I mean, we're just shy of the two minutes. He needs to make sure that he stays in bounds if he can. He needs to make sure that he, if he's able to run the ball and don't do too much. You just don't want to turn the ball over here. This is your game to lose. Good job. Now, this will be the two-minute warning. <laughs> So now this is where it gets interesting. I'm shocked that he's, and this might be being young or being in the hot seat or being new, unless he's trying to see if he can draw him off sides. I don't even know why you come out before the two-minute warning. We're picking up a habit here, though. Every time Jay Wall gets a little nervous, he starts biting those nails of his. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Do we have a tell so far? Yeah, we're seeing it. We saw it in his first game. Okay. This is, this is it. Is he going to be able to s close this game out. Can he finish it? You can. Just short. I think he's going to just run this ball out. I think he's content in taking three and then seeing if he can break one. 
not a bad, not a bad strategy to go with. Would that be your All strategy? Right. If you think J Wall is going to win this, put a one up in the chat right now. Taking it to the air. Oh, that was a oh, huge play. Huge. The kid is playing amazing. He's playing and with to every win. and with every completion, every time he moves forward, that just gives him more and more confidence. Does that need to be the play against somebody like Skimbo? Do you have to just go for it? You do, but you also have to be able to take calculated yeah, yeah. risks. You wait, can't wait. just be all willy-nilly out there yeah. doing it. Now, this is where you have to be careful. You know you have three right here. Do not force any reads. Do not throw in the coverage. Boog saying this is where it gets tight. This is where he's going to throw a pick. I don't know that he's going to throw the ball he's again. He's running, yep. How much time is too much time to give Skimbo in this situation? Well, we saw in Pittsburgh a kickoff is too much time to give somebody. Because he ran the kickback, yep. delivered, ran the kickback to win it. You, you don't want to leave any time. You want to make sure that you leave them with no timeouts and as little time on that clock as possible. Eagle, Eagle, 44. And it's the black two man. Eagle, Eagle. Here we go, second and six. Now, this is where I told you he didn't manage the clock right. There's no way he should have thrown that pass. What he should have done was run with Vic and then slide, let the clock keep going. Now you save another timeout for Skimbo. Yep. He's basically giving Skimbo another chance, no matter what. Just because even if he runs the ball here and if he doesn't get the first down, Skimbo's able to call a timeout. See, bang, Skimbo calls a timeout. Yep, there it is. He now the kid it. has the biggest decision of his life. Is he going to take three here, or is he going for it all? So he's going to take this three. Now you leave Skimbo a minute six left. That's a lot of time. With a lot of time, whereas if you don't throw that pass and you run, he's it's a completely different ball game. Is this a little bit of a sigh of relief for Skimbo? Oh, Skimbo is so happy. And if you ask him, he'll tell you. The kid gave this one away if he winds up not winning this game. Is right that just his first time under this stage? Is that something he'll learn from this moment? Clock management, and that's what it all comes down to. When you heard T. Davis talking to him before, you don't let the moment get too big for you. Ooh. And Skimbo only needs three at this point. He yep. just needs to get within range. He just needs to get the field goal over distance. That's too much time left. This is the guap drive. <laughs> what are people on the chat saying? Where are we looking? Too what much time. They're saying good game. They're saying you gave Skimbo too much time. Uh-oh. Now here's another thing you have to watch out for. J-Wall has two timeouts left. Skimbo didn't stop. The, the clock stopped here. It's a tie game. If Skimbo has to punt, he has the ability, he has to, the ability do to do something. So you got to be mindful of that as well. This is a great game. You asked for, can we get another one? We got another yes. instant classic. <laughs> it really does come down to clock management, though. You see how valuable it is in these moments. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. OMG. And Skimbo. Oh, wow. he's going to cry the car. He, he knows. He knows oh. he made a bad play there. But at least he threw it deep enough. That, yep. But where he it's still has be tough. those two so timeouts. Now, now if you're J-Wall, you got to be smart. You only need three here. This, this is a game. This is, a this is game. everything we wanted. And those of you who called him the up-and-coming newcomer, he is. J-Wall is his advertised. He is playing. Is he going to be conservative here? I guess not. No, <laughs> nope. he's not. He is letting it all out. This kid, oh my god! Taking gosh. those risks. I 
don't know what he's. We need to get his playlist. Let's go. <laughs> well, right <laughs> now he's then. not playing any games. He's all business. Oh, 41 seconds, all the time in the world. He still has two timeouts. He can run the ball. This is where he needs to still be smart. Don't take any chances. What does he need to do to get into field goal range at this point? Run the ball and make the clock. Don't be smart. Does Skimbo have a field goal block? Here we go. The clock's running. All right, now. You this is. I would have got a little closer. I think he has two timeouts. Yeah. This is where the youngster's overplaying his hand a little bit. He could have ran the ball again and got it closer. I'm, I got to see who his kicker is. But he definitely should have gotten a little closer. There's no, re there's no reason to kick that such a far kick when you yep. were. But he wants to make sure he doesn't get iced. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I would have called that. But <laughs> what? What's that? And this is where I tell you the hot seat gets hotter and hotter. Yeah. He's nervous, but hopefully he'll be he can make this kick. We're gonna see right here. What is happening in Skimbo's mind right now? He's praying that the kid misses the kick. <laughs> And he's praying that he gets a block. Wow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new Patriots oh, wow. Club champion winner. And look. He, he doesn't even look excited. He looks like old. he knew it. He looked like he's supposed to get it done like that. He just you took gotta, down the beast. Yes, he did. You got to love it. He is going to be the most popular man in school sure. on Tuesday. It's Look amazing. at that. They are loving him. His boys are cheering. <laughs> They're so happy. He, this has to be a great feeling for He did for say him. his two boys came up. Uh, they play Madden with him. That's who he plays Madden with back home. They came up to watch him today. So he did have a crowd out there. Unbelievable win for him. Did you think he had it in him? No, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm, totally, I'm totally shocked you called that one. Good job. <laughs> and I know Skimbo is shocked as well. And if you ask him, I know he'll wish he had that last drive back. But Skimbo played a good game, but it's not about Skimbo right now. Right now, it's about Jay Wall. And that youngster is heading, and he's going to be a problem for a lot of people. I was talking earlier with some of the people in the yep. community. They were saying, watch out for this kid. He's really that good. I can't wait to hear what happens when Megan gets a chance to talk to him. There Absolutely. That's exactly where we're going to go right now. Megan is with Jay Wall. How are you guys feeling up there? Jay Wall, they're wondering how you're feeling. Can you put it into words right now? Uh, Stressed out. I mean... That was a tough game. It came down to the wire. And after the last game, how I managed the clock, it was just, I was hyper focused. So it, it, I'm drained. Yeah. How crucial was that interception for you in the fourth quarter as he was driving down? Huge. Um, right as he motioned that guy out, I put a D path on, on Slay. And I think that's why I got there. Uh, it was close, though. It could have gone either way. It was, it was big. Everyone's calling you the up-and-coming newcomer. Did you surprise yourself today? Um, I don't think so. I think I was confident. I, no, I don't. I mean, I'm just happy with how I played. Moving forward, what did you learn from this experience? Your first time playing in a live environment. Um, definitely from my first game, I learned. I was a little nervous. I didn't think I'd be nervous, but I ended up being nervous. And um. Just to, like, it doesn't matter. Just be nervous. You don't have to be nervous. Just play your game. If that makes sense. All right. Well, enjoy this one. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that trophy. On top of that, he will be heading to California to play in the club championship, representing the Patriots. What does this mean to Skimbo? This means that Skimbo's going to have to lock back in, get ready for the Classic, get ready for the next one, because now he's taking a little bit of a hit. Yep. He's going to need to 
look back at his game and figure out where he needs to make some adjustments and then go back and also look at the clock back. He's going to watch that game. It's probably going to take him a couple days to watch it. Mm-hmm. But then after that, he's going to watch it over and over again and use that as fuel to get back at his next one. But – Let's talk about Jay, Jay Wall. Wall in school on Tuesday. <laughs> he is going to be walking down that hallway like a new man. Does he wear the jersey to school? He better wear the jersey to school. <laughs> I definitely he wear was, that jersey to school. He's actually really, really excited about that jersey. When I talked to him before, he was like, yeah, I got this really cool jersey with my name on it. So this is a big, big, big moment for him. Let's check out some of the highlights of that championship game right now. Yeah, these guys were going back and forth at it. When Skimbo was able to punch that one in there, you thought he was going to have the upper hand. You see, he was locked in. Come on, let's go. He was focused, but it just wasn't his time. He said it might be the youth movement. Jay Wall did not back down. He was right there with him. This was a slugfest. He sure, he did not back down at all. No. And then what happened is, with every single drive, and the longer that game stayed closer, the more Jay Wall felt like he was supposed to win this game. And that was one that got away from him. If he would have just thrown that, there's a good chance that he would have. And Vic's always going to put one in the bushes. But Vic also helped get him there, so you can't really take that yeah, away. Yeah, there were a few runs that really helped get some points on the board for him. And that was the one that he missed as well. They both had a high ball that they missed, which brought it into a 13-13 game. And then this was, that pick was everything. Yep. If they could have only thrown that a little bit more outside, but hey, he clicked on, made a play, and that's what it's all about. Yep, you could see the frustration. You saw all oh, of the yeah. fight go out of him right there. But he tried to get back. This, oh, I thought he was going to give that one up there, but he managed to hold on to it. Then he had to step up. And the two guard made the three yeah. that got him that victory. He channeled all his basketball skills right there. there. It is. And he nailed that three for the victory. Got to give him the W. Got to tip your hat to him. And you got to thank everybody for coming on out. Like Absolutely. It was, this was exactly what we hoped it would be and a little bit more. Every single game was so much fun. They were so close, every single one. We have our champ. We have Jay Wall advancing to California to represent the Patriots in the club championship series. It has been an amazing time. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And uh, it's been fun hanging with you too, Rico. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I want to thank EA, all the competitors, Gillette, the Patriots organization, the NFL. We really appreciate you guys coming on out. Everybody who watched out there, everybody in the chat, thank you. Awesome. And thanks, Megan, up there holding it down for us. And uh, to all the competitors today, we appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next year as well, Jay Wall. Don't disappoint us in the championships.